Okay, I put out a video yesterday talking about this Kessler quick release and me installing it on the jib, the travel jib that, that I have from Kessler. Now we're going to go into Arca Swiss in general, and here is a tripod of mine. This is an Enduro tripod, which I have reviews on my channel. Just search Enduro, and you'll see my reviews on these tripods, or just search keyword tripod. And they come with the Arca Swiss. And you can see here, here's one of my heavy-duty Enduro tripods, and I put this receiver, that little small receiver that you just saw, on it. And I'm going to upgrade it to a Kessler one so that it's um, heavier-duty because this particular heavy-duty tripod that I have, I think it's a C413 model, I want to be able to put the jib on there and also the slider. So see I'm removing this smaller Arca, Arca Swiss receiver which I've used these on a lot of tripods and so forth. They work fine but when you're putting more weight on there like a jib or a slider you want something a little heavier duty. And that's a 3 8 bolt coming up through the middle there and what it has, the, the Kessler has a 3 8 a threaded uh, receiver there in the middle where you can just screw it right on to that 3 8 and then you snug up those um, tensioners. There's three of those uh, Allen key tensioners on the underside of this uh, tripod plate, which you then snug them. Once you get this nice and tight, see I'm getting it as tight as I can, hand tight. Then you go around and you snug the three screws that go up into it. You see here, you put an Allen key in here and you, you turn those and tighten them and it tightens them right into that Kessler plate, which the three of them around there, once you tighten those, this thing is absolutely not going anywhere. It's not going to twist. It's not going to turn. It's just going to be rock solid rigid. And most good tripods have this capability. And most people don't know, or a lot of people don't know about this, that you can snug this underneath. I even had two of them snugged on the the other Arca Swiss plate I had. Now you see here we've got a plate on the jib and it has two um, quarter 20 bolts mounting that plate onto the jib. So again it will not twist because it's got two mounting points. So this is all a very solid solution here. And I've got the um, center column extended on the tripod just for photography reasons here. Normally I would have that all the way down into the tripod so that it's even more stable. Because with the C413 the legs are probably long enough you don't have to have that, that extension extended. And so normally if you want to be as stable as possible you would not extend that center column. So you can see here how the Arca Swiss works and, and it just goes right into that uh, dovetail and it holds it nice and solid. Here, here, Here's my slider which again has two quarter 20 mountings on that Arca Swiss plate. So again it's not going to twist, it's not going to come loose and once it's in here and you lock it down on this uh, Kessler plate, Kessler quick release plate, that is not going anywhere. And I can use that four foot slider with just that center mounting point on a nice heavy duty tripod like this I can use it with a relatively lightweight camera and it works fine and again you can see here I've got Arca Swiss on the top of the slider as well. You're seeing a theme here Arca Swiss on top of this lightweight tripod I have that I use for the iPhone in that iPhone holder there I've even got Arca Swiss on that. And here's some extra hardware that I always carry around with a bunch of quarter 20s, a bunch of lock washers, you name it, just extra hardware I carry around. And here's some extra Arca Swiss plates. And here you can see I had to actually put some lock washers in there. See them sandwiched in there, two lock washers? Because when you put the 3 8 to quarter 20 adapter in, there's a little flange there. And in order to get it to sit flush and to get it to not twist, I had to put those spacer washers in there and tighten it down nice and tight. Now that's not going anywhere. So again, I can clip this um, this fluid head right on here and use a fluid head when I want to and I can switch back and forth. I also have a ball head that has an Arca Swiss on the bottom of it so I can pop a ball head on here. Again switching back and forth quick and easily. So it just gives us a lot of versatility to have Arca Swiss receivers and plates 
on pretty much all of our stuff. And that, that's an Arca Swiss, by the way, on top of that, uh, that fluid head. So I've got these Arca Swiss receivers pretty much on everything. So let me know, do you use Arca Swiss? If not, what solution do you use for mounting your cameras and moving stuff around all the time? Thanks for watching and please subscribe.